Yo, what is up, YouTube and the Monster Club? It is yours truly, the life of the party, the young Gohart and the king of the clubs. And of course, I am the party monster. Back in the house of the monster. Back out with a brand new video. And today's video, I am super excited to finally bring you guys my top 10 pickups of 2021. So far, I'm going to be showing you guys my top pickups so far this year. Two that I've been most hyped about picking up and adding to my collection. I get it. Some of y'all might come at me in the comment section and wonder why certain shoes did or didn't make the list, but at the end of the day, it's subjective. It's my personal opinion on the shoes that I've liked, and I'm going to give you guys my reasoning for them, and I might even have a surprise or two along the way. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, join the Monster Club, and enjoy the video. Number 10. Okay, guys, so kicking off the list, we have the Kyrie 6 Shot Clocks at number 10. Obviously, it was a hard shoe not to put on this list, to be fair. Because, honestly, every time I look at the shoe, I fall more and more in love with it. I get it. It's not hyped. The hype shoes are coming, I promise you, in this video. But, overall, I thought this was a really dope shoe. I got it for $40 at a Goodwill. And, yeah, I just overall rock with it. I love the colors that are going on. And I love the material that they use. As you guys can see, got different tongues on both the shoes. And, yeah, I just thought it's an overall dope shoe. And here it is. Number nine. At number nine, holding it down for the Jordan 1s, we have the Air Jordan 1 Crimson Tents. Got these a couple of months ago. If you guys saw the video, you guys knew what it took to get these. But overall, I definitely got to add it 100% 380 on these. Like, honestly, last year I had no energy for them. But now having them in hand and just feeling the leather quality, these have definitely grown on me. Unfortunately, they're not my true size, nine or nine and a half. But... I definitely rock with them and I definitely love these. Number eight. At number eight, we have the Air Jordan 5 Toro Bravos, AKA the Raging Bulls. And slight disclaimer, the Jordan 5 Raging Bull is my favorite Jordan 5 of all time. And it's actually my most expensive Jordan 5 I've ever picked up and everything. And some of y'all might be wondering, then Party, why is the Raging Bull at number eight on your list? And the honest answer is because of the fact that after going through all the work I did to get these while on vacation and being so happy at the time, to come back home and then to see them damn near sleek on shelves, even to this day as I'm recording this video, definitely kind of soured me on these a little bit. I still love these. I think these are an amazing shoe. Probably the drinking game shoe of 2021, not going to lie. But yeah, overall, I think it's a fire shoe. It's just the fact that they're now everywhere. It just kind of makes it a little bit... Not as special anymore. Number seven. Okay, guys. So I promise you a surprise in this video. And here they are at number seven making their debut on this channel. We have the Jordan 7 Pattas. This is definitely a shoe that was so hard to not put in another video. But I want to surprise you guys with a little something something. And here they are. My true size, nine and a half. I actually got these for under retail. I think I paid like 160, 170 for them. And I could not be happier. Like these are so amazing. Like the suede quality in hand is just insane like pictures do this shoe on no justice like this to have them in hand definitely a fire shoe probably could have even been higher on this list but here they are pad of sevens boom number six coming in at number six we have the jordan 13 red flints honestly i wasn't sure how i was gonna do the flints i know i was gonna put just the red ones just the blue ones or just both of them together but once I did the unboxing for the blue flints, I was like, they're cool, but I just like the red one so much more. So that's why they're here on the list. I remember getting really lucky that day and hitting on the Foot Locker raffle and everything. I was so excited. Like, especially when I saw these in hand, it was like, I have to have these shoes. And now that I have them, I couldn't be more excited about them. Number five. Okay, you guys know me. You knew uh, Yeezy was eventually going to have to end up on this list somewhere. And at number five, we have the Yeezy 350 in the Beluga colorway. Probably would have had this shoe a little bit higher up on the list if the condition had been better. But these were used. But I got them for a really decent price for Beluga. I think I paid like two times for these. Granted, these sales are definitely run down to hell. But I definitely think I can get some wear out of them. They're a little discolored. But at the end of the day... They're a fire shoe and one that I'm so happy to finally add to the collection. And I know they are restocking them, but I got the OGs, so I'm happy. Number four. 
Kicking off our final four, we have the Yeezy 380 and the Blue Alien colorway. I cannot say enough good things about this shoe from the 3M upper to the translucent outsole and the hints of blue on the midsole. This shoe is crazy. Such a beautiful shoe. Might be a little bit of a surprise to you guys that I even have this because no one viewed the video, but it exists. And yeah, I can't say enough good things about this shoe. Touch a fire shoe and definitely had to be on the top 10. Number three. And at number three, we have the Jordan 4 Topaz. Had to have these on the list. I went through pure hell to get this shoe. I had to make hella phone calls. There were stores back during and even with all that, I still had to do a six hour camp out to even get a size close to my true size. These are actually a nine. I'm typically a nine and a half in the Jordan 4 just because of how they're cut, but I would have done it all over again just to get these in hand. Such a fire shoe. I don't care what anyone says about like the whole crackling leather on the front. Like I am perfectly fine with it. I think it's a fire shoe and of course it had to make the Okay list. guys, so we have now reached top two territory. And honestly, these shoes could have been interchangeable, but ultimately I feel like I already knew it was gonna be number one as soon as I picked them up release day. But yeah, I got my top two shoes and let's get right into it. Number two. Number two, we have the Yeezy 350 and the bread colorway. I finally own this shoe after many years of trying and taking L's. To finally have it in my collection just speaks volume of where I've come and where this channel has come and everything. So this is definitely like a milestone shoe right now. I get it. It's just a material thing. But this shoe means the world to me, honestly. It's a really dope colorway and I love the comfort of the 350s and everything so to finally have it means the world like i've had people cancel when i tried to order these and yeah so it took a lot of work but to finally have it just means everything to me and it's a fire shoe wish i could have gotten a dead stock pair but it's what it is i'm just happy to finally have a pair to be honest with you and here they are the easy bread 350 number one at number one to the shock of no one we have the jordan unc fours this is a shoe i have been in love with since i saw pictures of them it was one of those shoes that i said i don't care how much i have to pay i'm gonna get them it's not if it's just when i'm gonna get them and thankfully, the sneaker gods blessed me on this one. I got these for retail, and I could have not been happier that day. Like, I was so psyched. If you saw my pickup release video, yeah, I, saw, I was even wearing the UNC jersey. I was that hyped. And, yeah, I could not say enough good things about this shoe. I know it's simple, but it's also a clean silhouette. And I love fours as it is. So, this color and with the elephant print and everything, it's just a fire shoe. And I know there is someone watching this video looking at... The fact that I'm wearing a Maryland shirt gushing over a UNC shoe, but I don't care. Like, I love this shoe, and I cannot say enough good things about it. This will probably be my overall shoe of the year. I'm not going to lie, but, yeah, this is, like, it would just take a Maryland. Like, I'd have to get something, like, off the wall. Like, I'm trying to have to get, like, mags or something to overthrow this shoe, but... Yeah, here they are, the uh, Jordan 4 UNC. Okay, guys, we did it. We got through my top 10 pickups of 2021. So far, I cannot emphasize enough the word so far. There are six more months left in the year. A lot of time to pick up new shoes. So my list at the end of the year could change. But at the moment, I can't see it changing that dramatically. But you never know. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And more importantly, and my favorite part of this whole equation, if you feel the vibe, hit subscribe. You guys can follow me on Twitter at PartyMonster1 and on Instagram at PartyMonster05. And until next week, remember, be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. Peace.